Welcome to Hong Kong Blu-rays. We thought it's about time that we shine the light on the Hong Kong superstar that is Lao Ching Wan. Stick with us on this episode, guys. It's going to be so good. Bang! 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 Thanks for joining us on HKB today. Yes, it's nice to have you guys with us. And uh, we thought it'd be a fun little episode to put a spotlight on Sean Lau or Lao Ching Wan. Both huge fans of this. We like his body of work, don't we? Yep, definitely. So what we thought we'd do is look at three very different films, um, assess his performance in them, rate the films. We'll give you a few words about the Blu-rays that we have. and. Um, yeah, hopefully this will be a fun one, guys. Stick with us to the end to see what we think. First up, we have Mad Detective. You're a huge Johnny Toe fan. What did you think of this one? This was um, really good, I thought. I thought the trailer for this film didn't do it justice, which is probably why I've avoided this one for a while. I took a look at the cover, took a look at the trailer, and thought, oh, it doesn't mm -hmm. really look like my mm -hmm. cup of tea. Mm -hmm. But um, I think it's also Y Cafe, who also yeah. works with Johnny Toe a lot. And you, usually when we see those two names together with Lao Ching Wan, we're expecting something like Bra the Brasserie, yes. or some sort of comedy, like romance film like that. This is a completely different kettle of fish you know we've got um it's a bit of a thriller and you know very good dramatic beats in it mm. and a staggeringly good performance from Lao Ching Wan in this one yes you know he's he's not your usual um detective by any means no slightly mad and he, he looks at people and sees their personalities yes so you know the setup for the story is basically he helps another cop that worked under him after he's been fired from the force when he loses it and um, he helps him solve the case using his rather unusual abilities mm. of seeing other people's multiple personalities or different facets of the personalities personalised as different people to his eyes. Yeah. So as everybody else might see one person, he might see three, he might mm -hmm. see seven and they're all different yeah. people. That was really interesting actually, wasn't it? It was superb. Yeah, it was really, really good. And um, yeah, I thought Lao Ching Wan was really good in this and Kelly Lynn was good in it too. What did you yeah. think? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's certainly a different type of role. Not really seen um, Sean Lau play anything like this before. So it's really unusual character. Uh, but I thought he was really good in it. Yeah. So this was like a, a poor excellence performance from him. Yeah. Um, just showing why, you know, He's got the long gravity that he's he's had, you know. Really, really good. This film for me, I really liked it. Um, I'm gonna score this one eight out of ten. I'm scoring seven point five. Excellent. And this is a Eureka release, and we've got quite a few like little extras on this, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, loads. Yeah. There's um, a Q and A with Johnny Tell, which is thirty five minutes, exclusive cast and crew interviews shot at the Four East Film Festival. Uh, that's 14 minutes, interview with Johnny Toe, 21 minutes, UK theatrical trailer, and we were lucky enough, because we had to get this from CEX, to get the 16 page book up. Yeah. Andrew was keen for us at Amphlet Reviews to cover this one. And uh, yeah, good recommend, Thank Andrew. You. Yeah. I'm going to get a little bit Ready? Ready. You want to see who Next, we have Shockwave, Hong Kong Destruction. This one's directed by Herman Yao. What did you think of Sean Lau in this? Right, so, he's built up there at the top with Andy Lau and Nini. Yes. And 
there's nothing wrong with his performance in this one, but I expected more Shall Sean Lau. Um, not more from his performance, but more of him in it. Yeah, yeah, it felt a bit more like an Andy Lau film, mm -hmm. um, and Sean Lau was one of the supporting stars. Yeah, at the beginning we was like worried about how much of him we was going to see. Mm. There was uh, another actor that a lot of you guys might know, Philip Kyung, and he was he was killing it. He was really good in mm. his role yeah. in this one. I mean, I always like that guy, but in this one I thought he was particularly good. Mm -hmm. I thought, oh come on, and uh, but when it gets like sort of midpoint or maybe a third away through, then you know Sean Lau has some really good. Yeah, to play, yes, does. does some good dramatic mm. lifting in it, and um, yeah, I mean, he can act alongside anybody and be on a par, par with them, you know, any day of the week. I feel, yeah. and um, yeah, this this film, it's it's not a sequel to Shockwave. It's even though it's done by Herman Yao. I mean, we did originally when we saw it advertised for, oh, it's going to be a sequel. How he survived the bomb blast from the first one? Sorry, nobody's seen that. Spoiler. But um, yeah, the first one we didn't go too much on, but this mm. one is a completely different story. And um, Sean Lau, Andy Lau, they're like f friends that work together in a bomb disposal unit. And uh, the you know the relationship between them two is very good. They're very close. When you know at the beginning of the film, this isn't spoiler because after right beginning, Andy Lau loses like half of one of his legs, and Sean Lau's alongside and helping him get back to full health, and he wants to get back onto the squad. But you know regulations whatever he's not allowed back on they offer mm. him a desk job he's not happy with that and that turns him like to the villain of the piece for part of the film at least anyway um then they give too much away but there's an awful lot of effects in this one yeah some of them a bit sketchy some fantastic yeah you think that's fair to say i think it's fair to say the the big ensemble piece at the beginning with the mm. explosion that maybe does doesn't happen don't want to say too much the the effect itself was okay but i think the physics behind it the hadn't been worked out correctly so that's a little bit false mm, but um yeah. you take that out of it and you just replace it with a better special effect then you've got uh, an absolutely cracking film here yeah you know it was really well acted sean now was great in it um again you know he, he shows his dramatic chops and i was quite pleased with him in it well, yeah, um, I was. Yeah, so I he wasn't in it as much as I'd hoped, but he was very good. Yeah. Yeah. So Again. really, sort of, yeah, really tense, sort of. Um, yeah. Part in this. Yeah, absolutely. It was very, mm. very intense, mm. and the action in this one, fantastic. You like the action gripping. films, you know? Yeah. This this cine Asia release, this might be right up your street. Highly recommended from us. Great disc, great film. Um, I'm going to give this one. An 8 out of 10 as well. How about you, Shaz? 8.5. Oh, there you go. Okay. Hearty recommendations yeah. for Shockwave Hong Kong Destruction. And this one has bonus features on it. It's like they're all broken down into little pieces, aren't they? And it's like 40 minutes worth, though, you know? And um, mm. it's good. It's good to go through them. You've got the international trailer, the Hong Kong release trailer. So, yeah, there are, there are some extras on this. Maybe not quite as heavy as some others, but it's a very nice, nice sound. Yeah. You know, I think it was good subtitles on this one. Very happy with this one. High recommend for Shockwave and Sean Lau and that one. Finally, we have Call of Heroes, directed by Benny Chan. What did you think of Sean Lau in this one? Loved him in this one. I really love this. This is right up my street. I know we've seen this one once before, um, but it was when it first came out and it was on Netflix. And uh, I just got so much more out of it this time. And, and Sean Lau's performance, um, it was great, you know? Mm. And looking at some of the extras and behind the scenes, seeing him work with Sam Al, and uh, yeah. what not, and Sam, I was really impressed with him. He liked how to use the whip yes. for this this yes. film. This is um, a good sort of adventure film. It's a good old fashioned adventure film, and um, basically, the villain of the piece, the main villain of the piece, Lewis Koo, 
he's like the son of this warlord and he commits some murders in some villages and when he gets to the one village where Sean Lau is like the sheriff if you like mm. and he has his, his group with him they hold him for execution basically and yes. um, the film's about Louis Koo trying to exert his will to get himself released and also Louis Koo's men led by Wu Jing come to try and get him out and uh, you know the village very scared because they mm. they think you know they're all going to get killed and everything yeah. and they want him to release him and uh, he's true to his integ integrity in this so I thought you know you got on the one hand you got the action side from from Sean now which you don't mm. often see he does some good moves in this yes he does I was really impressed actually mm -hmm. camera was on his face a lot yeah. so you know yeah. yes it was him doing it yeah and uh, yeah he, he looked good against whoever he was up against in this, you know, and uh, his his old friend, Lewis Q and him, they had some really great scenes in this together. They did, yeah. And, uh, yeah, what did you think? What did you think of um, Sean in this one and also, you know, some of the other guys as well, because Dave Merritt talking about. Yeah, well, I, I like I say, I thought he was really good in this. Um, you mentioned about sort of the action side of things and how well he did in that. I liked um, some of the comedy aspects because there was a little bit of humour in it, even though it was quite a serious film. Mm -hmm. And there was a scene of Eddie Payne having a quite a bushy beard. A great big bushy beard! As the sheriff is sort of trying to find out why Eddie Payne's arrived in the village, isn't he? Mm -hmm. And he says he'll cut his beard. And it was it was really funny, wasn't it? Yeah. You know, not just how they were sort of questioning each other, but... The camera angles purposefully picked out to hide what was actually going on with just this massive pair of scissors. <laughs> yeah, they were huge, weren't they? <laughs> but yeah, I really liked that and um, yeah, I, I just loved it. Yeah, I remember hearing about this film when it was being made and first coming out and they said, oh, it's like a modern day Shaw Brothers film. So yeah. this kind of got us mm. thinking, didn't it? And thought, well... Okay, we can see because a lot of action come through an adventure, but it didn't really have a Shaw flavour to us. So we thought if yeah, we were going to yeah. recast this, who would we go with in, in, in the roles? Do you want to give them our list? Sure. Yeah. Okay, so Sean Lau would be T Lung. Yeah. Eddie Peng would be David Chang. Mm hmm. Louis Ku would be Lo Lei. Mm hmm. Wu Jing. Would be Chen Kuan Tai. Um, Sammy Hung would be Fu Sheng. And Yu Han Kwan would be Car Away. Yeah, that's what we think. What about you guys? You know, let's have your alternative casting for the Shaw Brothers version of this. Anyway, that's about it for this one. I'm going to score this one and um, you. Guys, probably won't be surprised because you know I love films like Millionaires Express, etc. So this one I'm giving a 9 out of 10. I really loved it. I'm scoring this 8.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed it. I thought the action was fantastic. Um, there was a particularly great fight on a stack of wine um, jugs, wasn't there? That was fantastic. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I heartily recommend and another outstanding Sean Lau performance. So... Yeah, we've uh, shone a little spotlight on Lao Ching Wan, and yeah, we really like it. And this disc too, um, Call of Heroes, another Cine Asia release. Again, we've got special features on it. We've got behind the scenes featurettes, character trailers, international trailer, artwork gallery. There's some real fun stuff on this yeah, one. Yeah. Um, Lewis Ku arm wrestling with uh, Sammy Hung, that was quite amusing, mm -hmm. and, and some bits with Samo in there. So. That's a highly recommended disc. You can pick that one up fairly reasonably. So, um, yeah, purchase links for all three of these will leave in the description below. So, our verdict on Sean Lau. What do you think? I think he's so, so good. So good. Yes, I know. So good. And having a spotlight on Sean Lau in this episode. Mm hmm. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and we would be quite eager to hear which Sean Lau films that you guys like. Are there any you want to recommend to us? 
yeah, in the past we've covered Full Alert, Le Brassier, and My Left Eye Sees Ghosts. So there's probably plenty more out there we haven't come across yet, so let us know. Yeah, and especially if there's something you want to know about and haven't seen, you know, make us aware and, you know, if we've got it, we can look into it. If we haven't, we might think about purchasing it. You've got your own one at the minute, haven't you? Yes, Shopaholics. Yeah, so I'll be ordering that soon. Um, yeah, thank you for being with us, guys. It really means a great deal to us. And if you stuck with us right to the end, then please give us a like. Um, we hope to see you next time. And remember, folks, be true and buy the blue.